In this video, we're going to create the 5x5 five five fixed window that we need as well. So from the 3x5 that we've already created in the previous video, what I want to do is come up here to my files menu and we're just going to click a save as, come in here to family, and we're going to create a 5x5. Five five. So I'm just going to modify the name of my 3x5 and use it here. Save as creates a copy of the 3x5 window and allows us just to continue and make the modifications that we need for the 5x5. Five five. So the next thing I want us to do is I'm just going to come up here to my family types and for the width I'm actually going to just change that to 5 feet and click apply and that's going to flex what we have here. The next thing I want us to do is I'm actually going to come inside of the extrusion that we created for the frame. So if I select my extrusion for the frame here, and you may have to tab through to select it, I'm coming up here to edit extrusion. From my edit extrusion, the equals constraint that we have in the vertical direction is the one that we're going to need to modify. So I'm just going to select on this equals constraint and delete that and reference plane and let's lay those in place. All right. Then the next thing we're going to do is add that equals constraint. So use our line dimension and come from the interior and select each one of our reference planes. I'm just going to drag this out here once again and then use our equals toggle. And you'll see that it's saying remove the constraint. Yes, we're going to remove the constraint that was placed on these lines because we've created a new one now. And so we're going to take this line work and just begin to modify I'm actually going to select all of it. Select all of my line work. It's actually easier just to select all of the line work. And we'll just get rid of it for the frame. And we'll just replace a new perimeter of our frame and lock it in place. All right. And then we're going to just go ahead and lay in the inside lines. And you'll see what's happening in the background. And it may be a good idea very quickly for us to just go ahead and we'll save here. We'll come out to this extrusion that we had. And I'm going to delete the glass extrusion. All right. So I'm tabbing back through and we'll select the, our extrusion once again for the frame and we'll come back and edit it some more. Let's give ourselves the line work that we need now. So what I want to do is I want to make sure we're picking lines and I'm going to use my offset and I'm going to offset a half an inch. based on my grid line and I'm going to do that here in each one of the directions we're doing that both vertically and horizontally and then I'm going to take that offset off and just begin to pick my interior reference lines that we're going to create our geometry based on as well. And then I'm going to give myself one more just line I want to draw in here based on the midpoint of my frame that I'm going to use to do some mirroring later on. Now let's just begin to clean up the line work here. 
Okay. So let's begin to sketch, create our sketch line work and modify it in place. I'm just going to modify here. And the next thing I want us to be able to do is just to go ahead and trim some of these lines. So I'm going to break break it at, at our reference planes so I can come back and trim that line work together. And we're just going to do that in a couple different areas. There we are. So now that we've got those in place, we can actually just begin to bring some of that line work down once again. And it's not critical for us to lock any of these, this line work in place. You'll see that it already flexes with the constraint that, that we've placed on it. However, I am making sure that as I hover over over a particular starting point that I'm given the opportunity to align and you'll see my line work above is actually selecting as I'm bringing those lines down. So one more line and then we have this in place and we'll just begin to copy this line work around where it's needed. after we trim it in place. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this line, but now let's let's go ahead and copy this line work around. Oh, that's an accident. Let's cancel that. That move. <laughs> and let's zoom in here enough to make sure that we're selecting only only our line work here. Holding down control, select the rest of our line work. And now let's go ahead and copy it down. We're going to do a multiple copy and constrain it based on the reference lines. And we're just going to bring it down here. And for our last bay, we're going to come back up to the first bay we created. and I'm just going to come in here and select select that line work and we're going to mirror it 
about that that line that we created here that represented the center point of our frame that gives us then we want to make sure we delete this line so that we don't get an error as we try to complete the extrusion now we have that in place we'll create another extrusion in this extrusion as it represents our glass we're going to repeat the process that we did with our 3 by 5 window and lock each one of these to the frame extrusion that we created Okay, so here's our extrusion. Let's take a look at it in our 3D view. Okay, there's the frame, and I'm just going to tab through. Okay, and there's our glass extrusion. All right, let's take a look at it in the floor plan view as well. And I want to look at modifying the placement of the glass within the frame. So if I select on the glass extrusion, you see the start and the end point. This is actually how we begin to modify it. So I'm going to give ourselves a start point of an inch. And if I click apply, you'll watch the glass move within. So we can actually move that in even a little bit further, inch and a half. And the end extrusion, we're going to give ourselves one inch. And you'll see that moves moves the glass properly within the frame. And we would do the same thing with the extrusion as well if we're looking to move our extrusion in a particular direction. So we could begin to move it an inch in this direction. And you can see it just begins begins to move the frame in a particular direction. I'm going to set that back to zero. All right, I hope this video has been helpful for you.